All right. Well, grace and peace to you, Sister Laverne. Grace and peace to all the saints, all the Zionites online, their families will be on online at this present time, and all the guests online and their families. I, I, I want to encourage you, uh, invite you to our Tuesday night session of Developing Unwavering Faith, where we're coming out of James 1, 6. Let them ask in faith without wavering. I pray all is well with you and your families. I pray the Lord is keeping you and blessing you while you're going through whatever you may be going through. And I want to encourage you to keep on praying, keep on believing, keep on trusting the Lord for your breakthrough. For he may not answer you right away or suddenly, but I do believe he will answer you eventually. Just keep the faith and keep on trusting and he will see you through. I also pray that you had a wonderful and blessed day and that you were able to stay warm. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18. 2 Corinthians Four, seventeen, and eighteen, <clears throat> which simply just reads, starting with the seventeenth verse, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Let me read that again. For the things which are seen, yeah, let me read that again. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. For the things which are seen are temporary. And for the title of my message tonight, it's only a test. It's only a test. For the things which are seen are temporary or it's just a test it's only a test my brothers and fine friends when you have a dream when you stand in faith when you stand for the lord or get or live godly you will be tested you will go through trials and you will go through tribulations you need to know that when your health is threatened it's only a test when your job is in jeopardy, it's only a test. When your marriage is in trouble, it's only a test. When you face with all kinds of chaos and confusion, it's only a test. Matter of fact, what I really mean to say here is that that's the attitude you need to have when you're confronted with these issues that is only a test. Joseph had the favor of the Lord. And in spite of, of this favor, he had to deal with the trials and tribulations. He was laughed at by his family. He was misunderstood by his father and his brothers. He was mistreated by his brothers. He was lied on by Potiphar's wife. He was thrown into jail. He was forgotten by the butler. He was promoted by, but however, he was promoted by Pharaoh. He went from prison to the palace. It was only a test that he was going through. For you know, if God be for you, <laughs> can't nobody be against you. Abraham was tested when God told him to what? Sacrifice his only son. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was tested when they defied the command of Nebuchadnezzar to bow before him or to be cast into the fiery furnace. Job, you know, was tested time and time and, and time again, and yet he still kept his integrity with the Lord and for the Lord. I want you to look closely again at the last part of 2 Corinthians 4, 18. It says, for the things which are seen are temporary, which just simply means whatever the negative situation or circumstance that confronts us from time to time, that looks bleak, mm -hmm, disastrous, and earth shattering, it is temporary and is subject to change. In other words, what you're going through is only a test. Keep the faith. It's only a test. Or said in an even more convincing way, my brothers and friends, as you stand in faith with confidence, 
in God and confessing loudly and boldly, this, it's only a test. As we travel along and, and live this Christian journey, we will face some crazy challenges. I know I got some witnesses out there, circumstances and problems. However, we can take heart and comfort in knowing, according to these verses of scripture, whatever we may be going through or may be enduring at this time in our lives, it's only a test. It's only temporary and it is subject to change. We are faced with your challenges, my brothers and family and friends. Even though you're going to be tempted to, you must not get weary. Mm -mm. You must keep the faith and realize it's only a test. You must not give up, cave in, or quit. No, as Christians, we are not to act like others who are, who are not Christians and who do not have any hope. Mm -mm. But we are to stand our ground and putting our faith and trust in the Lord. And know that no matter the negative situation or circumstance, God will make a way somehow. Why? Because what you're going through is only a test. What we may be facing or dealing with right now in our lives may feel like and may actually uh, be a heavy burden to us. However, in the eyes of God, it is only what? A light affliction. It only feels like a heavy affliction to us because we have what? Put all our trust for some reason and what the doctor may have said mm -hmm. or what our bills are saying or what our failing marriages is ind indicating to us. Or instead of putting our trust and faith in the Lord, one who is uh, who is one according to his word, who will and can will and can, excuse me, save us, heal us, deliver us and set us through, set us through, excuse me, set us free, excuse me. This is not to make light of the seriousness of the problems that any of us may be going through and enduring at this time, no. But worrying and fretting about them and wringing your hands, my brothers and sisters, family and friends, uh, is not going to make the problems what? Change or go away, no. However, the one and only way to keep from fretting and losing your mind over them while going through is to give it to God, casting all your cares on the Lord, mm -hmm, that's 1 Peter 5, 7 tells us, and having faith in him and trusting him as you do with the understanding that it's only a test. And so we need to keep the faith. We need to keep faith when you're, I know, I know, I know, easier said than done, but what else are you going to do? You have to keep the faith and understand it's only a test. And on top of that, when we trust him and give our challenges, our circumstances and problems and trials over to him, wherever they are or may be in his care, know that whatever we're dealing with is, again, temporary, which only, which simply means it's subject to change. It's, 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 it's temporary. The things which we, uh, which are seen as temporary, mm -hmm. it's temporary, all right? Uh, which means whatever we are going through or dealing with, yes, even with sickness and disease, it's only a test. It's temporary, and it is subject to change. Now, I'm not making light of anybody who, who has confronted with sickness and disease, especially with that, and, and you are really, really going through. But even that is a test. In other words, we have to keep the faith, we keep, we keep believing, keep on trusting the Lord, that even what you're going through, no matter where you are in it or how bad it may be, to keep believing that God is going to turn it around. When you feel yourself getting depressed, my brothers and fine friends, and in despair about your negative situation, your problem or circumstance, listen for the voice of the Lord or listen for the voice of God who will say to you, as he did to Abraham in regards to Sarah having a child at her old age, is anything too hard for the Lord? And then just hold on or hold your head up high and say to yourself over and over again until your faith is strong and you are confident, no matter how small or how big the problem may be, it's only mm, a test. This is temporary, and I believe it is subject to change, and it will change. When you do, my brothers and fine friends, you will feel so much better. Why? Because you know that God got this, and he will see you through for, for all things are what? Possible <laughs> to him that believes, right? All things are possible to him, to her, to those of them that believe mark 9 23 
uh, because there is nothing too hard for the Lord. And with a little patience added in, you will see what you're dealing with change right before your very eyes. I'm a living witness. My brothers and family friends, keep the faith. It's only a test. My brother count it, and sister, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And what these trials and what these tribulations and what these tests do to us is what? Trying our faith, which as we're being tried is working on our patience, is working on our faith. Trials and tribulations will come to test you. They will try to steal your joy. They will attack your faith. However, at the same time, they will also make you strong. They will grow your faith and they will keep help you stand. So just stand, my brothers and family friends, having done all the stand. Keep the faith for it's only a test. And I'm I'm a, I'm a for your sake, I'm gonna try this. I hope this hope this works. I'm gonna uh leave you with this um this song that I found on on uh the internet and I'm just gonna play a little bit of it, but you'll get my point and I hope it comes through clearly. Here we go. Before I close. That's not what I wanted. Come on, behave. <laughs> stop, stop. Hold on. I'm sorry. All right, never mind. Anyway, the song is by uh uh Trotter. His name is uh Trotter, and it's, it's and it says it's only his song is only a test. And here's what the lyric says. It's only a test that you're going through. It's going to be over real soon. I'm quite sure many of you have heard that song, right? Keep the faith. Don't give up for it's only a test. It's only a test you're going through. It, 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 just, it, it, it won't rain too long and won't be too strong. Uh, keep the faith. Don't give up. Realize it's only a test you're going through. It's only a test that you're going through. It's going to be over real soon. Keep the faith. Don't give up for its own Leah test. And so my brother, my brother, sisters, family, and friends, I want to encourage you tonight to keep the faith for whatever you're going through. It's only a test. Yes, I know that there are some serious situations that we're all going through some tests, some trials, even some folks are going through it right now, but we cannot give up. We cannot quit. We cannot cave in. We've got to keep on holding on to our faith. We've got to continue to keep the faith, understand that we're being tried, we're being tested, and we must continue to keep on keeping on, keeping the faith, realizing it's only a test. And that's why I want to encourage you about whatever you're dealing with, because, you know, the enemy is constantly trying to come at us. He's con constantly attacking us, and he he's not going to quit. And I just want to, and I just want to encourage you not to panic when you're giving bad news. Not to panic when you're going through a trial or a tribulation or a test, because you have to understand it's only a test. And because you're seeing it with your eyes, you have to understand that what we see with our eyes, as the scripture says, is all is what is temporary. And so, uh, it, and what's temporary just means it's subject to change. And that's what we're believing for. That's what we're staying in faith for keeping the faith that is subject to change and it, the situation we're going through and are going through, no matter how serious it may be, is, is changing and is going to change in our favor. My brothers and fine friends, I pray to help somebody. It's it, Keep the faith. It's only a test. Let us pray. Our Father God, I thank you for this word. I pray that this uh, short and brief word has blessed, has touched those who have heard it. And as they're going through, Lord, you will let them know and remind them that what they're going through is only a test that they need to keep the faith. Yes, it may sound, it may be hard, it may be uh, strenuous, it may be frightening that what they're going through is nothing but it. And we need to keep our minds and, and faith on the fact that and trust you, Lord, that it's only a test and you will see us through it and help us by faith to keep that and keep that stance, keep that thought in our minds for us to keep the faith and realize it's only a test and that this too will pass. And it is subject to change. And so, Lord, I pray that this word I've given tonight has blessed someone, has touched someone, has given someone something to think about while they're even going through right now. That they come to understand and, can, and by faith can understand that what they're going through is just a test. And for them just to hold on, as I said in many other messages before, just a little while longer. And they and you, I believe, Father, in the name of Jesus, you will see them through. So, Father, thank you for this time. I thank you for another opportunity to bring forth this word tonight. 
Again, I pray that bless and touch all those in the sound of my voice now and the sound of my voice later. We give your name all the honor and glory and praise for it. We ask again that you continue to touch and bless our pastor and his family. But touch and bless all those who are going through, especially those who need healing. We claim healing from the top of the head to the sole of their very feet. Those who are going through bereavement, we ask that you continue to comfort them, strengthen them, uphold them. Uh, let them know that you're with them, that you'll never leave them nor forsake them, that you're their very present help in the time of need and trouble, and as well also in a time of bereavement. So we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. And we give your name all the honor, glory, and praise for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. And remember the saint, remember this, saints, all things are possible to him, to her, to those of them that believe. Why? Because there's absolutely positive with nothing too hard for the Lord. Never stop praying, never stop believing, and never, ever, ever give up. Why? Because your healing, your miracle, and your deliverance, and whatever else you need from the Lord is on its way. As long as you don't stop praying, stop believing, and never, ever give up. And to keep the faith that no matter what you're going through, it's only, it's only a test. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining me this, tonight. And I will talk to you next time. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Dickerson. You're welcome. Tomorrow morning, remember, at 8 a.m. with Dr. J. And then Wednesday evening at um, 7, it's getting the word. Everyone you, have Reverend a good Dickerson. evening. You're welcome. Thank God bless you, Reverend Dickerson. God bless Hi, you. Reverend Dickerson. Hello. Hello.